Hi, I'm Stefan Barriel, and I did in 2013 uh, this video in French. Uh, we can translate the name of this video, how to do a custom and dynamic map uh, inside Illustrator CC. And uh, some people in the community asked me to do the English version because they are not French speaker. And I promised it, and I didn't have time uh, before this moment. So that's the purpose of this video. So let me show you what I mean by dynamic map in Illustrator CC. So here you can see it's in French, but don't be worried, I will do the step-by-step -step in the, uh, the uh, series of videos that will follow. So I have here uh, a map, which seems a little bit complex, but actually, if I'm just pre previewing the path, only the outline, you can see it's not really complex, it's few lines, no more. And there is no double line on top of each other, and you can see if I'm activating the preview, command Y, Ctrl Y on Windows, uh, it's a complex world with, with a lot of junctions, so you can see there is a stroke uh, outside, an outline outside of every uh, junction, you have some world uh, moving on top of each other, and uh, you have also some symbols, some text, but we will see that later. Let's focus on dynamic map. Dynamic map means if I'm selecting small road, medium road, or highway, I am in the small road, I can just move something and do my road like that. If I prefer to go on, on the medium road, let's just deselect, I can also create a medium road like that. If it's not a medium road, uh, because for perhaps that was an highway, uh, because I miss, I just need to select this small, uh, small uh, square and to move the path on the right layer. If it's not a road, if it's a, a train rail, I can just move in a train rail uh, layer. And that's it. That's what I name dynamic uh, map. Let's stop here this introduction and jump to the next video to review some basics we will need to construct and to create this map.